All right, guys, welcome back to another Rage Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays. And today we're going to be going over the Tank Affinity strat. A lot of people are saying that it was like, um, it was essentially a counter strat because I was using Valkyrie, right? So I have corrected this, so I'm going to be doing, um, I am going to be, in this video, you guys are going to be seeing me doing this, the same strat without Valkyrie. And uh, we just had to tweak a few things on Sinesha, so we're going to be going over that. But still, you guys can follow all the recommendations in this video, except for uh, the Sinesha stuff. So you guys can follow everything in this video. Spiders Den 20 Auto Guide Affinity Tank Strategy, Raid Shadow Legends. That's where it's called. You guys can follow everything on there, except for the Sinesha build. So let's look at how Sinesha was built. All right, so the masteries are exactly the same. Artifacts are the same, just the uh, stats are different. So over here, we have 60 to 70k HP. That is actually not correct. I don't know why it's... Uh, I was following the Dyron's guide. He, he says that in his guide. So I don't know why that is not correct. So 60, 70k HP is way too much. Um, I think we dropped down the HP to 29k. 29k HP. And then we got around like 2,000 defense. Uh, resistance is good. So follow this for the resistance. And we got the speed actually higher than 150. Higher than 150. We got around... Um, I'll show you later their stats. But yeah, just follow everything here except for this uh hp the hp is incorrect mastery is all correct so what we did is we changed these two these two pieces so we had around thirty-eight thousand health points in this video but she was not retaliating with her mastery the defense tree mastery so we actually dropped that down to 29k and we dropped down the defense i think it's around 2000 we'll show you after this i will show you after this masteries follow these masteries they are correct uh you guys can go check out that video for that because i tried it without valkyrie it didn't work but when i dropped down her stats that's when it started to work so i actually uh, cleared it on the first time on auto so people are saying that there's still no hope for regular players but i want to show you guys that there is still hope man don't lose hope um what else somebody says something too and i want to bring this up um inner shark uh he says do not use infernal baroness i repeat do not use infernal baroness she puts herself under veil the second time she has to move thus breaking your whole strategy he says he had to find out the hard way. He wasted all his resources to get her 60 and fully mastered. And uh, he used Sinesha instead, and which worked fine. So thanks for that, Inner Shark. I already uh, thanked him for that. And I also pinned that on the comment section, at the top comment. He said he tested her in auto in early stages where she put Apothecary or Cold Heart under Veil, but never herself. So it looks like the AI decides to put her under Veil because she has a weak affinity on stage 20. So for stage 20, do not use Infernal Baroness, even though I recommended that in that video. I just didn't test it, so um, apologies Inner Shark that you had to take one for the team, but thanks for telling us. Also, Rodrigo said that you're um, in this video, in the, this video that I'm looking at right now, the initial one, he's saying that my Sinesha never proc Retribution Mastery a single time in that run because her HP and defense are not properly tuned, which is correct. And yeah, he said this video just ends up explaining counterattack run, which is correct. So apologies for that, guys. I actually didn't mean for this to happen. But I will show you guys the way to do it because I was actually following. Well, my brother was following the guy on Reddit. So he said it's better to see you done without Valkyrie. And then Motep, um, I think that's how you say his name. He just says he agrees. The tank should have 27k health. I did 29k uh, for the new run that I'm going to show you. 200 resist. I have over 200 now. 2k defense. That's correct. He said my tank had 40k health. That's true. But it worked, right? But yeah, it was mostly Valkyrie carrying the team, which is correct. Um, so yeah, he uses geared down Silar, so she gets targeted even with Void Affinity. So I told him I'm gonna get a video up without Valkyrie, so this is that video, guys. Let me show you her artifacts and stats before we get started, though. So the only thing we changed was this, this piece right here. They're not even plus 16 anymore, <laughs> so it actually got even easier, the regear requirements. So we have 24% crit damage on this piece. We dropped it, it used to be HP or defense percentage, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but we did get more speed on it. And we had resistance primary. So we just literally just jumped into brutal uh, stage that drops chest pieces. And we just took whatever we got and we got this. Uh, 23 resistance on it. We got crit damage and some accuracy. And that's about it. So everything else is exactly the same. And if you look at the total stats, so 29,000 HP, which works. Uh, 2,098 defense, 181 speed. So that gone up. And her resistance actually gone up to 239. And if we increase this even further... Her resistance is going to be uh, pretty pretty high. So everything else is exactly the same. Her skills are not maxed out, as you can see. And yeah, let's take her for a run. So we have a pre-recorded video footage of it. Uh, we put in Apothecary in place of Valkyrie. So you guys can see that it can be done.
We just figured out Blue's Clues. So if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. Again, I apologize uh, for that counterattack strat. <laughs> as, as I said, I wasn't actually fully aware it was like that. So I want to uh, remain transparent with you guys regarding that. So that was not my intention to um, show off Valkyrie. My brother said it worked, so I just followed his, followed how he did it. But now that I've uh, tweaked it down for him, he was actually uh, pretty happy too. He says, this is actually better for me. Drop a like, let's get this video up to 100 likes. That's our like goal. And if you guys are new to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Raid Shadow Legends and Dragon Champions content almost every single day. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.